On planet Earth, life has thrived for millions of years. Creatures big and small have found ways to adapt and evolve to flourish in all types of environments. From barren wastes to lush forests, life can be found. Earth has homed these creatures since the dawn of life itself. Only until very recently, things have changed. New life forms have appeared all around the globe and completely changing the balance of nature and what we know about evolution itself. That is why we, at National Living Meat Research, have been studying these new species, trying to help educate everyone about these creatures and their wondrous ways of life. First, what are these new life forms? Since their explosive arrival across the globe in 1931, there has been much debate on what these newcomers are, and where they came from. Are they extraterrestrials coming to invade Earth? Or are they demons who come from hell to purge humanity? From what our scientists have discovered, no. The origins of these creatures are solely to Earth, miraculously out of nowhere. We don't know why or how, but one thing is for certain, Earth is now their home. What these creatures are is mysterious and still not well known today. But here is what we do know. These creatures are comprised mainly of muscle tissue, organs, and bones. They greatly resemble animals with no skin, or store-bought meat. Because of these characteristics, they have been named accordingly as, Vita Carnies. The carny species consume decaying, organic matter, but their main diet is composed of raw meat, not including their carnies relatives. The carnies only appear in places where there is an abundance of crawl, which leads to the first creature of the carnies species, the crawl. The crawl is a growth of meaty tendrils that closely resemble the small intestine, the only difference being the dark red coloration. These tendrils grow in a similar pattern as vines, mold, or fungi. A primary stem structure is the host to divisions of other, smaller branches. In each tendril contains a variety of veins, arteries, and other similar organs used to transport nutrients absorbed from its surroundings. The ends of these tendrils are equipped with organelles used to absorb water, and organic matter necessary for growth. The source of these organic materials is mainly found in dirt and soil on surrounding surfaces. Using its root-like tendrils, it absorbs the material and processes it into usable energy. Although, the crawl also obtains energy through another means. Using a sophisticated form of photosynthesis, the dark pigmentation of the smaller branches is ideal for absorbing sunlight, and therefore allowing solar energy to fuel the crawl's growth. Because of its efficiency, it thrives in almost all types of environments, easily allowing it to spread across the world, and can be found pretty much anywhere. Its recent inclusion in the ecosystem has caused many major changes in nature's balance. One may assume that the crawl's presence may outcompete any other competitors, but due to its unique life cycle, where old branches fall off and decay into nutrient-rich compost, all forms of life seemingly flourish instead. The crawl's abundance grants plenty of nourishment to all animals, from plants feeding on the decayed crawl, herbivores thriving on increased plant population, and carnivores feeding on both the abundant prey, and are able to eat the crawl as well. The presence of all these animals leave behind waste, which will be broken down and consumed by the crawl, and the cycle begins again. This form of symbiosis leads to an environment where all populations thrive. Humanity also uses the crawl to our advantage. Because of the supernatural rate of growth and its richness in nutrients, it has been sustainably cultivated into domestic farms. The crawl is harvested and processed into fertilizer, which greatly increases crop yield and quality. The crawl may also be used as a food source for humans, and reliably so. But due to its unkindly appearance and taste, it has yet to reach cuisine standards. The crawl also plays a very important role in the next creatures that we have been studying. Sometimes, in a crawl populated environment, a node of meat may develop on one of the branches. This node will fall off and grow into a functioning organism, and go to live on as an independent animal. 
This leads us to the upcoming species that we will be discussing. The first of these creatures are the trimmings.